so someone has suggested I do a live never done a live before I probably will at some point but um, I typically just make videos just because it's easier and you can edit them and that kind of thing so in Christianity um, a lot of people just don't like it because they just think it's a list of rules sometimes people don't want to follow rules which you know that gets them in trouble that's how people end up in prison it's the same thing with christianity you know god said if you love me keep my commandments um and they're there to give you life i mean i was not following his commandments before i came to christianity i was doing a lot of things that i shouldn't have done and it literally brought me down to a place where i felt like i was on my deathbed like i was saying to myself this is the end and i was talking to my cousin he's like it's not the end it's not the end <laughs> I mean, it was the end of myself, but I thought it was the end of my life. Um, and so the unfortunate thing is many Christians have kind of foregone the truth of Christianity and have gone the path of New Ageism and motivational speaking and, and prosperity speaking and that kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with encouraging people. There's nothing wrong with prosperity. Um, but I would argue that if you're going to go the New Age route, um, really reconsider what you're doing because the father said do not mix these kinds of things. Anton LaVey is the founder of the satanic church and what he said about New Ageism um, is give us our religion back. He expressly said that New Ageism is a form of Luciferianism. So I can attest to that being a person that practiced it and went overseas to India, one of the places where New Ageism stems from. Um, and just saw the atrocities that were over there. You know, if you are practicing something that is truthful to God, you know, you're not going to have all the the stench and the dying animals and the dying people in the streets, you know. Their whole caste system over there is really causing some things uh, that are not very healthy for the people over there. So we'll just put it that way. But I said this because Christians can also fall into this motivational speaking um kind of leaning and it doesn't necessarily help all people um as a person that had a very strong victim mentality that was something that was passed down from my mom and probably from other relatives as well because uh some people just get taken advantage of some people are out here they're chosen to be the light of the world and so constantly they're taken advantage of they're mistreated it was the same thing that they did to the messiah sometimes you don't know what it is and so you stay in this vicious cycle of just like self-loathing and and people pleasing and this kind of thing um the father had told me that i do not have to seek validation from people that my validation comes from him, that he has a plan for my life, that I'm worth more than rubies, that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And these are the things that I repeated to myself whenever thoughts would come in my mind that I wasn't good enough or that other people were better than me um, or if I was seeking some kind of validation from people or, or whatever the deal is. Um, and so I just want to encourage people, you know, to be that person in which you suffer with those who are suffering, you know, because people coming to me and telling me that I either sink or swim <laughs> or that I'm a flower grow, like, you know, if I don't know that I have the power to grow, then how do I grow? That's why Christians are supposed to be the people that suffer with other people that give them um, the wisdom of God so that they can come out of what they are in, you know. I think sometimes we think that because we've got some kind of philosophy of man um, and maybe even the tools of God that everyone else does. And that's not the truth. Like, sure, there were Christians around me. They understood because they had the spirit. If someone were to say to them, be a flower, grow, <laughs> you know. They had the tools to do that. They knew that they had to maybe look inside themselves or they knew they had to go to God or whatever the deal is. That's not the case with everyone, especially with something with the victim mentality. You have to help put those tools inside of them uh, so they have understanding, you know, or if you don't have the energy or the strength to do it, you have to lead them to God so that they will understand how to grow. We can lack the compassion necessary for other people. Um, Maybe it's a competitive spirit. Um, maybe it's just you literally don't feel like helping anyone. Um, you're just tired. You're fed up of people's whining or whatever the deal is. Just be patient. Just be as patient as possible. I mean, 
what do you have to lose, to be honest? I mean, if it gets to the point where you are around someone that just, they are not receiving it, they're not listening, that's okay. You don't have to hang around them anymore, you know. When they come around, you might plant a seed here and there. Uh, some plant, some water. God gives the increase. You can lead a, a horse to water. You can't make them drink type deal. Um, but don't give up on doing good. That's what the Bible says. Don't give up on doing good. Don't Don't put yourself on a pedestal, you know perceiving yourself that that you're better or whatever the deal is because that's not what God is calling us to do you know that's not what the Messiah did he walked with people um, he sat with people he rejoiced when they rejoiced and he was sad when they were sad and that wasn't just like you know a vain action to do this is something that comes from the heart of somebody that truly is compassionate and truly does care for other people and I understand that in the last days um, our love is going to wax cold it's just because you know, a lot of persecution, the atmosphere is very dark and, and that kind of thing. But, you know, stay in the fight, keep doing good, and God will bless you. So you guys be blessed and have a good one. Bye.